Harry Potter came to me on a train in 1990. I was sitting just staring out of the window and I, I, the idea just fell out of nowhere. It was, my circumstances then were that I was a uh, single parent, recently divorced, um, not working, very, very broke and determined to finish the book because I was about to start training as a teacher and I knew that I would have no time, no time at all to write. It was turned down by three publishers but one of them kept me hanging around for about a year saying we might, we might, we don't know and that was bad for my nerves. I did go and train as a teacher and all the year that I was doing my um, postgraduate certificate of education I was waiting to hear from publishers. So all that year I was on tenterhooks Everything turned round. Two things happened. First of all, I got a grant from the Scottish Arts Council. It was £8,000, which to me at that, mo at that time was a fortune. And that was purely so that I could afford to take only part-time teaching work and I could, I could afford to finish book two. And then shortly after I got that grant, uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was sold to America for an amount that I had was way outside my wildest dreams. And then that was it. I could afford to um, give up teaching completely. Mm -hmm.